Alright, boys and girls, I told you guys I was going to make you a little bit more complicated owl. Um, sometimes I do this with my first graders, sometimes third graders, sometimes fifth graders we do a four relief owl. So I usually try to work in my favorite animal somehow somewhere in the art year. Um, so here's how to draw kind of just a little bit more detailed owl. Um, like again, I like to Google my image, see what I'm looking at, see what I'm doing, and then decide how I'm willing to draw it. It's much easier to draw what you see. Alright, so first we're going to draw the owl's body, and then you can take it and you can make it into whatever kind of owl you want. Whether you want to do a great horned owl, a snowy owl, a barn owl, um, whatever kind of owl you want to do. But first let's draw the basic head and body. So we're going to go, kind of envision like how big you want your owl to be. If you made this big, the head's probably going to be about this big. Just please don't draw tiny. When you draw tiny, you don't have enough room to add all those details. And when you're drawing the head, you know, start near the top of your paper and draw the body, you know, close to the middle and the bottom of the paper. Envision what you want your owl to look like, and then you'll have an easier time trying to sketch it. So I'm going to start at the upper half part of my paper, and I'm going to make kind of like a wide rainbow shape. Alright, here we go. Up, over, and down. I hope you can see my pencil alright. And then I'm going to just draw kind of a... A rough and zigzaggy kind of line to show that's where the head stops and the body begins. And the body is just curves and a curve. So we got a rainbow, zigzag, curve, curve. Now let's draw a wing. We're going to draw a Curve, I don't know, straight out about here. And curve down. And I can see that its wing kind of stops over here. And its tail. Maybe that's part of its wing too. I don't know. It's got more feathers that are kind of hanging down here. feathers that are coming down. Maybe some little bit shorter feathers on top. Just kind of like a U. And don't worry if you can't do this, just try your best. Doesn't have to be perfect. None's not perfect. Back to mine, you can make the head a little bigger. Alright, so here's what you want to figure out if you're going to do a snowy owl, barn owl, a great horned owl, there's all kinds of owls. Um, but like a great horned owl, you would draw those feathers that are coming up. No, they're not the ears or the horns, but he just kind of looks like that. There's actually ears underneath their feathers on the side of their heads. So if you want to do a snowy owl, don't add those. A barn owl doesn't have those. A barn owl kind of has a heart-shaped face. Um, so, but I think I'm going to do um, the great horned owl. So I'm going to start with the beak in the middle. And it's kind of like a long, skinny, pointy teardrop. And that's the shape of most owl beaks. So if you're doing a snowy owl, you can still follow along. Alright, then I've got these great big eyes. I'm just going to draw part of the eye, because I notice when I draw the feathers on top, that that's going to overlap the eye, and I can't see the whole circle. Now I'm trying to get this to match. It's going to be tricky. Feathers going up, and whenever I do this part, the kids are always like, He looks mad, he looks mean. He kind of does, but that's just his little feathers.
shiny spot. There we go. Head a little boxier. I notice this owl has a little bit more boxier head. And I notice around his eyes, he's got curves that kind of go around his eyes into the beak. And again, we're not trying to make this look like a photograph. This one just has a little bit more detail and it's not quite as abstract. Is that previous owl video I did? Just do your best. is made up of mostly like oranges, browns, grays, blacks, a little bit of white. If you're doing a snowy owl, you could just do white with black feathers on there. Just look up pictures of what type of owl you want to draw, and that'll help you get an idea of what details to add. And there are a lot of feathery details on this owl, let me tell you. But I would just start out by doing just some curved lines. I don't have to draw all those lines. He's got a lot of lines on his feathers. A lot of, lot of lines on his feathers. You add what you want to add. You want to have less details? Add less details. You want to have more details? Add more details. To your art. Those are just so beautiful on there. The gaze is so intense. Alright, so I left this spot kind of blank and open to do the big talons. They've got some big old feet. So right now I'm just kind of drawing a couple of the tops of the talons and then I'll curve. Come back. Curve and come back. Picture I'm looking at, I can't really see the back talon. It must be wrapped around the other side of the log. And I can kind of only see these two talons right here. And we've got big old toenails. Thank you. 